This video series is presented using Python as the programming language of choice. Why is this done? As mentioned in the previous video, we are engineers and not computer scientists. Therefore, it can be expected that most engineers have little or no experience in programming, which is okay. There are many programming languages out there, ranging in complexity and difficulty to learn. Python is an interpreted, dynamically typed programming language with automatic memory management. Sounds complicated, but simply said, this makes it a simple, easy to learn language. Additionally, it is one of the most popular programming languages out there. And with widespread use comes lots of easily accessible resources to help you learn and additional open source libraries, which extends the functionality of the core Python calls, such as Mathplotlib, Pandas, NumPy, and SciPy. It is an easy to learn programming language while remaining very powerful. The question which pertains to this video is how do we go from print hello world to defining an analysis model on RFM6. The concepts may seem very abstract but we aim to provide a short theoretical overview on that topic in this video. The answer lies on the acronym API. API stands for Application Programming Interface and is a part of an application which allows the communication with another application. By following a relevant set of functions, procedures, methods or classes, one program such as Python can request information or send commands to another program such as RFM6 which will respond appropriately. That is the big picture of how APIs work. Now diving into details as to how this works with RFM6 and Python, we simply replace the term API with web service, which is a type of API. All web services are a kind of API, but not all APIs are a web service. What is then the difference between APIs and web services, you may ask? The distinction lies in the style and way of communication. Web service, like the name suggests, is in the constant need of a network connection. This is not always true for APIs. The style of communication in an API is not as formally structured as with web service. Web services have namely three communication styles, SOAP, REST and XML. The client-server exchange of RFM6 and Python utilizes the SOAP protocol. This is additionally through an HTTP medium. This is probably enough information as to how things work without making it sound all too complicated. What is necessary and important for you as the user to know? Web service is the newest technology. It is faster and more secure. It is operating system independent, meaning fully compatible irrespective of Windows, Mac or Linux. And with it comes the possibility for further applications such as cloud computing. The good news is that you as the user don't need to know how to work with the SOAP protocol as all the necessary communication is wrapped nicely in the Python high-level library for RFM6, which we as your Bluebell support team have provided to make your programming experience easier. Libraries are the topic of the fourth video, so more to that then. With the theory of RFM6 and APIs covered, I think we have enough information to get started. Installation steps and setup is covered in the next video.